Hello, it's Helen Godden here, and this is chapter one of my beginner's free motion machine coding class called Liberation from the Ditch. This was filmed eight years ago, and we have recently converted it from a DVD into this online class. Here is a sneak peek of my class where I reveal the three key secrets to my free motion machine quilting. Hi, I'm Helen Godden and this is Liberation from the Ditch. This is a beginner's class in free motion quilting and I'm going to hold your hand the whole time so don't panic, I'll tell you when it's time to panic. But today we're going to look at different styles of quilting. I'm going to give you lots of skills for you to practice and get confident with. It's like I'm going to give you the building blocks for your quilting experience. I'm also going to share with you my three key secrets to quilting and a few other handy tips along the way. So let's get started and have a lot of fun. So with normal sewing you've got your straight foot on and your feed dogs are raised so you've got that movement of the fabric being taken across the feed dogs to give you that nice even stitch length. So you've usually set your machine to 1.5 millimetre stitches or something like that and with the feed dogs that gives you that normal stitch length. So I'm just going to do a little demo of that as if we're doing normal stitching at home not free motion stitching. So you can see in normal stitching, the feed dogs take the material through the, under the needle and gives you that nice even stitch. So then you look at my work and you see me doing giraffes and elephants and images and you think, well, how on earth are you doing that in straight stitching? And a lot of beginners, this is the typical problem for beginners, is they think they have to turn the job and they try to turn the whole job like this. And it's just not going to happen. So this is where your um, free motion foot comes in. This is a typical darning foot. It has a spring on the shaft and this funny little sticky out lever on the top there. Now your, every different machine has a slightly different one but this is about what they'll look like. And depending on the age of your machine too, it's, um, the manual might call it a pogo stick, a free motion foot, a darning foot, um, a stippling foot, there's all different names. And you have to get the right one for your machine and your model. So you have to ring your you know, service people and get the right one there. But that's the magic that makes all this work is you have to have this darn foot. The darning foot, okay. I have my darning foot on and I have lowered my feed dogs. So I'm ready to have a go with the free motion quilting. Now with my machine I haven't got a foot lever, uh, being a house farmer it's a bit different. It just knows that when I put my foot on the pedal it wants to start sewing. Um, but for the rest of you you're going to have to still put your foot lever down as per usual. So hands on the job, if I don't move that job nothing's going to happen, it's going to stitch on the spot. So I am now the feed dogs, I have to move the quilt under the needle, so like this. I'm going to share with you the three key secrets as I see them to free motion quilting. This is the bit that you've paid your money for. The first thing with the free motion quilting is that all your previous sewing experience has been in a dead straight line. So when you try to do your free motion work you feel like a complete beginner again even though you know you might have 20, 30 years of experience with your sewing machine. But all your sewing, whether it be bridesmaids, library bags, patchwork, any sort of sewing you've done has always been in this dead straight line just here or maybe reverse but it's all happened in one straight line, always aiming at your cleavage actually. So now in free motion you've got an option of going 360 degrees. So that's quite a quantum leap. So you have to let yourself be a bit of a beginner and realise that this is a different activity than what you do normally with your sewing machine. It is a completely different function of the machine to work in free motion. So if you're feeling like a bit of a beginner, that's okay. You come to the right spot. So you can see I'm not rotating the quilt. I'm just moving that quilt in an X, Y axis underneath the needle. So typically a beginner, I watch them in class all the time. They take a big breath, take a big grip on the quilt and they dive in and they try and turn the whole job like this. Well. That's just impossible. You're not going to get very far. I've got long arms, but you're not going to get very far doing that. So this is why you have to have that darning foot on and working in this kind of format. 
Now I can say to you, work in this format with your hands and you can see me doing that. I had to write that in an email to someone. Well, how do you write that in an email? Decided it was rubbing suntan lotion on, well, in my case, Hugh Jackman or anyone else that you think is very good looking. So that way you're going quite slowly. You're enjoying yourself. You're having a good time. Your two hands are moving across Hugh Jackman. Okay, but that's how you move the quilt under the needles. Now, if you have to, you can lock your two hands together. Make them be as one unit so that your hands can only move together as one, not two hands to do two different things. If you see one hand coming up or one's down and vice versa, your two hands are doing different things. Lock them together to make them do the one, one activity and that's suntan lotion on Hugh Jackman, okay? So that's the second secret to free motion quilting. Now the third secret, so you've got cleavage, accepting the fact that all your sewing has happened in that dead straight line for however many years you've been sewing. Hugh Jackman, which is the moving of your hand slowly across the quilt. And the third thing is swans. If you think about a swan, as in the bird, swimming across the lake, swimming across a pond, they're very elegant and stylish, they're making beautiful patterns in that water, but underneath they're pedalling like mad. They're going really fast with their feet. And that's what we want to do in free motion, is have our foot pedal going quite fast, but our hand being smooth and graceful and gentle like a swan. So you have to bring out your inner swan, okay? And um, yeah, have that foot pedal going fast, but your hands going slowly. So, for instance. And that can be a problem for beginners too because they're so used to hearing the sound of their machine and knowing that if they've got the foot on the pedal going fast, their hands are moving fast because normally your feed dogs are controlling all that. So it'd be like you're sewing the seams of a curtain. You think, right, foot pedal's going fast, my hands are moving quickly. Well, in this case, you want that foot pedal going fast but your hands going smoothly and slowly. Okay, so that's where you're thinking about swans. You're thinking about Hugh Jackman. So your foot pedal's pressing fast and hard. That's your little heart going very excited because it's Hugh. But up here, you're rubbing that suntan lotion in very smoothly. So think about a swan. So it's graceful up top and um, yeah, speedy down below. So that's the, the um, trick there. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek into the first chapter of my beginner's free motion quilting class. If you'd like to purchase the full length class, you go to HelenGodden.com. Once that's done, I can then add you to our private Facebook group, also called Liberation from the Ditch, where we will learn free motion machine quilting together. Hope to see you there very soon. Education and inspiration from HelenGodden.com.